You want to test out some new intros? Oh, yeah. Do some, like, what, like, like, we're, like, ad, not ad what's it called? Um, it's the one where it's, like, someone yells out, like, Yes, I am. Gym class. Oh, what is that um... Improv. It's improv. Improv. That's, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. That's the improv. Word. Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Spencer. I feel, so like, I feel like it should be like, what our show's about. Like, what's our, like, how what, about, what's a good quick little tagline for Fizz and Fiction? Welcome to Fix and, Fizz and Fiction, okay. where, um, I feel like it should be like, where books meet, or, beverages. <laughs> not beverages, that sounds like a, that sounds like, I don't know what that sounds like. It sounds too <laughs> clinical. <laughs> It's not whimsy enough. Um, welcome to Fizz and Fiction. Where fiction meets... No, he used the same word. Where books meet... Mm. I use besties a lot in our other social media stuff, like yeah. books and besties. Yeah. Where... Welcome to Fizz and Fiction. <laughs> where you're two... Where, <laughs> where books meet besties. Where... <laughs> what a bees. I don't know that makes sense, though. Yeah. Books meets besties. Where books meet besties. Besties. <laughs> Welcome to Fizz and Fiction, <laughs> where two besties talk about books. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. We need to we need to workshop this. Workshop that. Yeah. Yeah, because I just it, the whole point is like when you when someone clicks on it, it's like, what am I about to get myself into? What, what are you about to get yourself into? This. Mm. We're Kristen and Spencer. We're besties. Where besties bond over books. Oh! Well, that alliteration. Bad. Bad. Bone. Okay, I like that. So, welcome to Vision Fiction, where besties bond, bond over, over books. books. Yeah. I'm Kristen. <laughs> and I'm Spencer. Thank you for going on that journey with us. We're back with Booked and Busy. Booked and Busy! We technically missed one month of Booked and Busy, I guess. Or wait, are we talking about August still? I forget. Because we're... Oh, I think I put September, but we technically didn't... We didn't do one in August. I think we just need to do August and September. Okay. Yeah. We're, this is your combined August and September Booked and Busy. Yeah, we're a little behind. We were so Booked and Busy. So Booked and Busy. <laughs> that we didn't get to film until early, at the end of last month. Yeah, so we're a little behind. We're behind book to busy. Yes. Some more bees. Bad to the bone. So if this is your first time joining Booked and Busy, we just talk about what we did in the past month or two now, yep. um, related to books usually, mm -hmm. and we like to start with rapid fire. Rapid fire! Okay, I'm gonna draw high and low of the month. Oh man, you know, I kind of forget what we write on these cards every month, we do this now. Um, high of the month, well the past two months I guess would probably what did I do in August why does time move so weirdly I don't remember what we did in August dang it let me look. my calendar's on September I need to flip it backward <laughs> oh we went to the have we filmed this since we went to the lake we went to the lake let's see that's the wrong that's way. the wrong way we're not going to October <clears throat> we Went to the lake. Yep. And no, we didn't do a lot in August. We went to a Braves game. Yeah. And I had some doctor's appointments. <laughs> and the, the exterminators came. I guess we didn't do a lot in August. Yeah, I think it was September that was really busy. Yeah. Oh, we did something this weekend because I didn't go to that birthday. I don't remember what it was then. Okay. Well, the lake was a high. That was nice. We went to the lake and had a like, kind of like last hurrah for summer, even though it's 93 degrees today. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah I know. That's why I'm in shorts. I mean, I'm in shorts and a long sleeve shirt. Yesterday was first day of fall and I'm in shorts. Oh, I do have a high. I went and saw Avril Lavigne and Simple Plan. Oh, yeah. You did. Um, in concert. And I went to Dragon Con with my little brother. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sorry. I did do fun things. Yeah, girl. What you talking about? Uh, the low was probably all of the dentist appointments I've had to do. In the last, like, three weeks. Oh, yeah. That's so, fun. that's fun. How about you? What was your high and low? I went to Alaska. That's a pretty big high. Pretty it's big hard, high. I mean, beat. literally, I was high in the elevation. You were. I think I got altitude sickness. Oh, my God. That's like, scary. It, <laughs> like, on one of my bus rides, Yeah. I was feeling so... And in essence, when I was Googling it, altitude sickness is just, like, basically, like, rapid dehydration. <laughs> 
So drink more water, kids. Yeah, I did not adequately prepare for that when I went up there. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but no, Alaska was great. Definite high. Um, the low was coming back to ninety degree weather. Cause it felt really good up there. Yeah. And now I'm in shorts. I'm heading out to Canada tomorrow, so I'm escaping this heat. Thank God. Chilly. All right. What did you read in September slash August? <laughs> I read uh, Apprentice to the Villain. Oh, that was your big one from the last time we talked. Yeah. I was just waiting for it. Oh, just waiting, 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 and it was so good. We'll talk about it eventually but um, yeah but yeah it was very good yeah yeah nice nice yeah. Bye -bye. uh i feel like i have like book blindness a lot of times like what did i read that's fair um but what sticks out to me probably the most is i finished um the duology for divine rivals so mm -hmm. i read ruthless flat ruthless vows mm -hmm. um that was really good yep yeah very solid book very solid solid series there sweet um, what are you watching? Uh, I'm watching The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives to finish that. It's so good. I want to start it. It just looks crazy from, it's, the, from TikTok. It's <laughs> insane. And, like, it's funny because I, I did follow the main girl that's, mm -hmm. like, kind of um, in everything before all this. And so just, like, seeing... They're all crazy. They're all so yeah. crazy. So that's been really entertaining um, and probably top of mind for me. about yes. you? I'm watching, um, before it leaves Netflix, I'm watching The Good Witch, re-watching The Good Witch. Oh! It's just something good to have, like, on in the background. It's very fall-esque, too. Very fall-esque. Yeah. If you're looking for something that you can, like, have on, like, have kids around, anything mm -hmm. like that, The Good Witch, I highly I recommend. Like and, I, and apparently, there's, like, all these movies from Hallmark. It, it started off as Hallmark oh. movies that I haven't seen. So, there are also Hallmark movies out there that, like, give a, more of a premise and then the TV show starts. I didn't realize that either. Yeah, the TV show went on for, like, seven years, so she had a steady job for a long time. Good for her. Good yeah. for her. That actually reminds me, they added all those AMC shows to Netflix. Discovery of Witches! Yeah. Yeah, so that's all I got. I finally finished watching that. I watched Mayfair Witches. Oh, I haven't watched that. That was good. And then I watched the first episode of Interview with a Vampire. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... Mayfair Witches is on. Oh, and I, well, I started the first episodes of Kevin Can F Himself. Oh, is it good? It's good. I've seen clips of it on yeah. Instagram, and it looks, it looks really it's good. It's so funny. It's Which, like, she's great. She's so great. But it's, like, all these AMC shows, and I'm like, wow, AMC, you've just been hiding these gems. Sorry. I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. They have quality television. I know. All right, what are you looking forward to reading next? Oh, this month? I'm looking forward to reading... Hmm. What am I reading this month? What's on my TBR? Oh, I'm going to start that Serpents and something, something, something book. Serpents and the Wings of Night? Yep. Yes. Good, good. Let me know how you like it. Yep. I think probably finish the duology before I finish it. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to start that one. And I have the whole Discovery of Witches um, series, including mm -hmm. the new ones. I got I also got one of the new ones in that Barnes & Noble sale. Oh, nice. Yeah. So there's two new... There's the more beyond the trilogy? There's more beyond the trilogy. Oh. They did... She did a follow-up novel that was... That's like seven years in the future. Okay. Um, of them, of Matthew and um, Diana. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a spinoff one with Marcus and like his backstory. Oh, quite okay, cool. Yeah. Which is the guy from... Yeah. Which is the guy uh, from... My Lady Jane. Yeah, My Lady Jane. Um, oh, I was reading My Lady Jane, but I had to return it to the library because it was overdue, and I couldn't renew it. Cause library it was, props. Yeah, library props. Mm. I'll get back to it. Yeah, I've only, I've read the first two in Discovery of Witches, and I have not finished the third one yet. Because mm. it, it changes completely in the second book. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're literally, <laughs> it's like different. they're literally like 1600s, like 1500s yeah, of London. Yeah, it moves like a historical fiction yeah, immediately. Right. It's just like, eh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have so much to read. Like I said, I'm going to Canada tomorrow, so I'm planning on reading so much. But I think I'm most excited for... I really want to read, like, a folly vibe. I know that our book of the month is probably going to be... We'll talk about that in a second. Oh, yeah. Um, well, we haven't officially picked it, I guess, but... Sarah gave her thing, so we could pick it from those That's two. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that works. Cool. We could pick a lot. Um, so that'll be fall-esque, which I'm excited for. Um, I just, like, want, like, a good, like, fall vibe, maybe witchy mm -hmm. book to read. Um, Here for it. And then I have so many, like, 
series to finish up so that's also on my tbr so and then that's not your you have the last one yeah, oh, I, dropped, yeah. I dropped mine drink of the month drink of the month um hot chocolate because i want it to be cold even though it's not so i'm just gonna manifest I it do, um, <laughs> oh, i'm definitely getting a hot chocolate when i go up there i'm just i literally i got some in alaska and i was like man i wish it was cold enough for this at home but i'm just gonna manifest it yeah i love that i love that oh uh, i'm down for hot chocolate too i think i also um am trying um to oh sorry later i'm also trying to stop buying starbucks so maybe like not starbucks like like making my own starbucks at home more i told you that i made that oh the cold the, the uh, chai the chai pumpkin um like mock thing yeah on instagram and it was delicious yeah so if you see a hack or a, like um recipe recipe on instagram to make your own starbucks like fall starbucks at home yeah do it yeah i did it it was so easy and it was so freaking good yeah it was way if you really like the fall flavors, because, like, I was telling Kristen, one of my beefs is that... With <laughs> Starbucks. With Starbucks, is I got this, um, like, pumpkin chai, like, the, the whatever the drink is. Yeah. Um, and you couldn't even taste the pumpkin. It's, like, only in the cold foam. Yes. Yeah. And it's just, like, the taste is so... A whisper. Yes. And some people might like that, but I, like, actually like... I, like, like pumpkin flavor. Yeah. Like, I, like, I like it. Um... And so, I made one myself, and it was just, like, slapped you in the face with pumpkin, and it was so good. I just threw a pumpkin at you. Yeah. Nice, it was nice. amazing. So, if you see one of those recipes, whether or not it's pumpkin or, like, whatever other... Uh, fall vibe. Fall or, like, when we get around yeah. the Christmas split, they have, make it at home. Because yeah. it's cheaper. It is, yeah. So much cheaper. It and is. it's actually really good. Yeah. Make your drinks at home, kids. Yep. And those are our rapid fire questions. So now we're on to what all you read in September. Oh, I finished up Fader. I finished up a lot of the Elsie Silver books, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about eventually in one of our videos. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I read a lot of. <laughs> I like. I had to like palate cleanse. You know what I mean. Between, like, fantasy books. Yeah. yeah. And I romance books too. are the best palate cleanser. I don't they care. are. Like, come at me if you disagree. <laughs> but they are. They are just... I don't want to call them mindless because I feel like that's just, like, an insult. Yeah. But, like, it's in not, the best way. It's not that they're mindless. It's just that, like... They're so easy to read and so entertaining. You know that you're going to get a happy ending and not a cliffhanger, which yes. is always nice. And it's just, like... I, I'm not having to world build in my mind, really, mm -hmm. and it's just like, yeah, it is so refreshing, and I'm so entertained, and it's just, I love it. 10 um, out of 10. 10 out of 10, romance books are the best palette <laughs> I'll f go down fighting for that. Did you read anything else? Um, <laughs> well, I read A Citizen to the Villain, or yeah. Apprentice to the Villain. I read our book club books, and then I've been, I've been doing really good about keeping my story graph up. Oh, I need to like go through and update mine. Oh, I read the third book of I read the third book of Serpent and Dove. That that was the Shh. that was the big one. That was her um That was my Everest. Time. Yes, yes. <laughs> Your Denali. My, that was my Denali. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I read that Heaven Breaker book, which was Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did oh. you like you liked it, didn't you? Yeah, I liked it. Um Yeah, that third book of the Serpent and Dove series. But you said that it came through in the end, right? It did. It did. I it did. don't know how she did it. But. I don't know how she did it. Kudos, but it came it came through. So I need to read that one also this month probably. Yeah, um, it was no, no like shade on the second book, but it's a, it's a problem that a lot of second books have, especially in trilogies. It's like yeah. a very not uncommon thing to have happen. Yeah. Um, I read with the Slows. Like I said, it was great. Mm -hmm. Um, I read. I've been reading the Percy Jackson books. So I read the fourth one in that, and they're just so good. Oh, I yeah. if you like didn't read them, I didn't read them in middle school because I don't think they were out when we were in middle school. Honestly, mm -hmm. I don't know what year they came out. Um, but I started reading them uh, this year, and they're just so good. If you love mythology, they're great. Um, and I read my first Elsie Silver book. Like Spencer said, we'll start getting to review those. Um, I really liked it as well. What's the first one? It's like Powerless? Fearless? Flawless? flawless. flawless. They're all less <laughs> They're books. all less. They're all less books. Uh, and that was really good. They're also all on Kindle Unlimited. Yeah, that's where I, that's where I snagged it from, which is great. Uh, so yeah. yeah. 2010, we were in high school. 
Okay, yeah. So it's probably like, it was like out of our like we yeah, weren't yeah. the target demographic at that point. Yeah, they kind of missed us. Um, mm-hmm. but I'm coming back to them. And they're great. Fair. Uh, but yeah, it was like a slower reading month for me. Um, I've just been very booked and busy. Booked and busy. So mm-hmm. I'm hoping I'm gonna like really rack up this next week. The airport. The airport. I read the whole. I read that whole wedding people book at the airport. At the airport and on the plane. Yeah. Well, my flight's gonna be a little bit shorter. Oh. It's like two hours to get to Canada. That's true. Mine was four and a half. <laughs> but I have like a two-hour drive also from Toronto to the, oh. the resort we're going to. That's true. Uh, cool. Solid. Solid. Um, we already did that one. Yeah. Some bookish questions. Bookish questions. Did you write these new ones? No, yep. those are old ones. These are new ones. Oh, these are new ones. What's your favorite music tree to? Or do you even like to have music on? Do you like to play in the silence? <laughs> I don't generally have music on when I read. Because usually I'm in the bath or <laughs> or just chilling in bed. Um, I did really enjoy when we read with that stuff oh, like on. Ambiance music? The ambiance music, though. I would, yeah. I would do that again, I think. I would do that again. Uh, but no, I'm not like... I think I get too distracted. That's fair. But I can like write with music and like do work with music. So I don't know. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. What about you? I like instrumental music. Yeah, so like Harry Potter soundtrack, yeah. Lord of the Rings soundtrack, Just, any kind of or a lot of ambiance music. Yeah, we looked up those like Night Court, um, like YouTube videos, reading ambiance. So those are great. So it was so nice. Would highly recommend. Did you ever figure out um, how to mark those um, instrumental playlists as like don't track for Spotify? There's like no. some there's like some button so they don't end up on your no because I mean you know what I ended up doing is I ended up just using them on um, like I just I don't have the premium version of Apple Music I just mm-hmm. go listen to them on Apple Music <laughs> just like the free version of Apple nice, Music nice. yeah or YouTube yeah I love it I love it yeah so okay your question do you prefer books with one POV or multiple POVs multiple I like multiple. I want to see what's going on in other people's minds. I really feel like we did this question. No, we didn't. I put it on there this morning. I literally, I, I well, we've had this discussion before. Though, oh, maybe. we've absolutely had okay, this discussion okay, before. Okay, okay, I'm getting deja vu. Yeah. But multiple POVs. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Want to like see what's going on everywhere and like what everyone's thinking. Yeah. And I just like sometimes you just can't trust the main person. An unreliable narrator. Yep. You know. That's fair. I, I think I'd agree with you. I think also it's because we like fantasy and romance. Mm-hmm. And, like, fantasy is really great with, like, multiple bigger stories. And romance yeah. is great when it's the boy and the girl. Yeah, that's true. So it's like you get both. You gotta have You gotta have a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fair, fair. Okay. What are we reading next week's episode? What are, What's it going to be about? What we're reading next? <laughs> we're reading... Well, we've already read it. <laughs> Oh. But next week's episode is going to be about The God of the Woods, our book of the month. Wait, we should say our book of the month for, like, that's, we should say that at the end. That is the end. We are at the end. But we need to talk about what our book of the month for this upcoming month is first. Oh, well, we usually do that on the book of the month episode. No, you were doing them on this one. Oh, we were doing them on mm-hmm. this one? Oh, I forgot that. Because we've been releasing these, I'll cut all this, don't worry. <laughs> we've been releasing these at the beginning of the month. So people can like read it. Oh, well, we don't have a book of the month. Well, we were just so we were oh, we can't take it live. Yeah, I forget. I forget. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we're picking our book of the month for the month for the month whatever month it is. Um, we're trying to go folly, but I yes. made some suggestions because last time we went spooky, too spooky, too spooky. <laughs> And the puppet. <laughs> Never forget the puppet. I mean, what pumpkin? Pumpkin. Like not. Yeah. yeah. He was. He was not my fave. Yes. So, I put out some fallish vibes in our group chat. I'm trying to find the. Is it one? Oh, Laura was in it too, wasn't she? Yeah. And the ones that Sarah liked were Dreams Lie Beneath, which mm-hmm. is Rebecca Ross. Yeah. And I know she had a new one. It's not new. Oh, it's it's before the duology came out. She has, like, a couple of duologies. She, oh. This isn't even, like, her original duology. Um, it's, like, I think it came out in, like, 2020, 2021. That's neat. She has, But she has two. She, there's another one, but it, I, I didn't think it sounded as good. Um, but Dreams Lie Beneath is Rebecca Ross. And then Spell Shop. And I can give you a quick synopsis of both. Yes, please. Or you me to pull up one of them, you pull up the other. Oh, yeah, I'll do Dreams Lie Beneath. Okay. Oh, look at this. Beautifully short. Not just love that for you. 
Perfect for readers of the Hazelwood and the Night Circus, which I think is her first duology. This lush and layered. No, the, uh, no, she didn't write either of those. Oh, well. Oh, then they should like. There's, there's, yeah. They're, yeah. But they're both good books. This lush and layered story about magic and the captivating power of dreams is delivered with acclaimed author Rebecca Ross's signature exquisite style. A curse plagues the realm of Azinor. Azinor. During each new moon, magic flows from the nearby mountain and brings nightmares to life. Oh. Only magicians who serve as territory wardens stand between people and their worst dreams. Clementine, Clementine Madigan. I just, how people come up with these names is so funny. Is ready to take over as the warden of her small town. But when two magicians challenge her, she is unwittingly drawn into a century old conflict. She seeks revenge, but as she secretly gets closer to Felon, Felon, I don't know how to pronounce his name, one of the handsome young magicians, secrets begin to rise. Clementine must unite with her rival to fight the realm's curse, which seems to be haunting her every turn. Oh, that does sound good. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's a standalone. Um, and then, do you think this is the right one? Spell Shop? Yep, that's okay. it. <clears throat> the Spell Shop is Sarah Beth Durst's romanticy debut, a lush cottage core tale full of stolen spell books, unexpected friendships, sweet jams, and even sweeter love. Keela? Sure. Keela has always had trouble dealing with people. <laughs> Feel that. Thankfully, as a librarian at the Great Library of Elysium, she and her assistant Kaz, a magically sentient spider plant, <laughs> Sounds like such a Sarah book. <laughs> I've spent the last decade sequestered among the Empire's most precious spell books, preserving their magic for the city's elite. When a revolution begins and the library goes up in flames, all she and Kaz flee with all the spell books they can carry and head to the remote island Kiela. I think I just said it a different way. Never thought she'd see again her childhood home. Taking refuge there, Kiela discovers, much to her dismay, a nosy and very handsome neighbor <laughs> who can't take a hint and keeps showing up day after day to make sure she's fed and help fix up her new home. In need of income, Kiela identifies something that even the bakery in town doesn't have, jam. With the help of an old recipe book her parents left her and a bit of illegal magic, her cottage garden is soon covered in ripe berries. But magic can do more than make the life a little sweeter, so Kiela risks the consequences of using unsanctioned spells and opens the island's first ever and much needed secret spell shop. Like a hallmark rom-com full of mythical creatures and fueled by cinnamon rolls and magic, the spell shop will heal your heart and feed your soul. They're very different. They're very different. Yeah. I'm. I lean more toward. I think this is more. That's more of a fantasy. Yeah. I. I. I, mean, I want to read. This yeah. One. Let's do that one then. Okay. This one. I mean, this one. Like, I'm just like I'm not a super like cozy reader. Like you know the cozy reading stuff. Oh uh, yeah. That's what this seems like. There's like not a lot at stake. It's just like a cozy read. It's just warm and fuzzy. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this one then. Okay. Dreams lie beneath. Dreams Lie Beneath by Rebecca Ross. Yep, our new book club book. So check that out and read it before the end of October. October. Yep. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. For Booked and Busy. We hope you enjoyed it and um, hope you're booked and busy. Yes, yes. With lots of fiction this month. Yes. Yeah, a lot on our TBR. Too much on my TBR. There's always too much on my TBR. Yes. But please join us next week as we review our August book club book of the month, which was The God of the Woods. Yes. If you read that, we'd love to have you come hang out with us next week. Yes. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. Bye.